So, I don't know about you guys, but it really feels like Blizzard are just slowly ruining World of Warcraft as time goes on. You know, back in the day, it started with Deluxe Edition expansion packs, the cash shop with mounts, transmog, pets, a character boost for retail, and TBC Classic, not to mention the severe content delays. In Legion, they had a little bit of a comeback, but the success wasn't really continued. And the point I really want to make in this video is the only reason why World of Warcraft is still a success is because of a community keeps World of Warcraft going, not the company that develops the game. Because even as a company, they are drastically failing, they're doing questionable things in the workplace bad enough to get the company sued, the CEO of Activision Blizzard is a very questionable character at best, and is easily one of the most hated people in the industry right now. And now it's gotten so bad that they had to be bought out by Microsoft, which probably means the financial situation at Activision Blizzard is much worse than they're letting on. But luckily, Blizzard and World of Warcraft has a community that they just simply do not deserve. There are so many passionate players thoroughly are in love with the game, or at least they have a love-hate relationship with the game, but again, that's only because of the company, not the game. And it's these people who keep the game going. It's streamers, YouTubers, big community events, and obviously, you as the players. No event stands out more than the Road to Ragnaros Challenge. This event started as a community concept that didn't have any in-game support. Okay, with a very simple concept, play the game without dying. And obviously this challenge started off with Scout's Honor. You have to follow all the rules to the book, and if you die, you have to delete your character. Then they made an add-on to make it harder for people to cheat, and then eventually, because the community grew so exponentially over the you know past years, we did actually get in-game support somewhat from Blizzard, and obviously it would have been a bit better if we actually got hardcore servers, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. And obviously last night this challenge was absolutely smashed, okay? I'm still stunned at um, what happened last night when I was watching the stream. In fact, it was just totally one-shotted. It only had two player deaths on Ragnaros. Overall, between 35 to 40,000 people were watching the event across several different streams, and this was achieved from the strength of the community's back without any help from Blizzard. Right? Compare that to a Blizzard hosted event, which has drastically less viewership. In fact, Blizzard don't even host their own events barely anymore, like when it comes to arena stuff. They can't even be bothered doing it, they just hand it over to a different company. It would have been so much better if Blizzard actually gave the people who you know, succeeded in this challenge, like an actual title that could be used across all of their characters on, you know, retail and TBC classic. And I want to stress that this is obviously a totally community made event, right? It's a couple of blokes coming together and being like, should we try and kill Ragnaros about dying? Because that would just be totally insane. You know, Blizzard didn't make the challenge in-game. Like, the World First Guild rushes, you know, that's a challenge actually in the game. This is totally made up. It's fabricated in the community. And it's events like this that, you know, keep the snowball of hype and love for the game going. And it's important to mention the race for World First Kills on Retail and Classic. These are also huge events in the community that normally boosts the World of Warcraft viewership on Twitch quite considerably. I don't even play retail, I always watch the World First Race on retail, because it's a very exciting community event. It's a battle of the most skilled guilds, and again, these players in the top guilds dedicate a lot of time and effort into these World First kills, and they're doing a great thing for the World of Warcraft community. Whereas Blizzard can't even be bothered making some class changes to SOM to make it more interesting. It really does feel like the community loves World of Warcraft more than Blizzard these days. If you think about it, many of the original developers who worked on World of Warcraft when it came out, but they don't even exist in the company, so I feel like all the jobs of development in World of Warcraft have just been handed over to people who, well, it's just a job for them, it's not their baby, it's not their... It's not a project that is loved and cherished and improved over 16 years. I'm not saying there's people in the development team who don't have a passion for the Warcraft, because obviously there is, but just from our end, as the consumer, as the player, it really just doesn't feel like it. 
So I get back to my OG point, it's the community keeping WoW alive, not Blizzard. If Blizzard didn't have the community it has, imagine how much worse a play count for World of Warcraft would be. I think Blizzard really need to pull their pants up and do more community events, because you know, they only do a small amount every year and it kind of seems like they're just kind of giving up on them by now. Why not at least do a community event every couple of months? Smaller MMOs do this quite a lot. I'll give you a little example of Lord of Rings Online. Lord of Rings Online has its own Twitch channel and it actually allows particular streamers who stream Lord of Rings Online to stream on their main channel to promote themselves, which is a chad move. I mean, they could do anything. There's a lot of things in World of Warcraft. They could do arena tournaments in every bracket, dueling competitions. Those are really fun. The classic dueling league, you know, back in the classic wild days, hosted by, you know, Tips Out. Those are really good. And then obviously they could even do raid speed runs, the hardcore challenge race to level 10. I think something like that is coming up soon in the community, FYI. But just imagine if Blizzard actually got involved with some of these events, got involved with raid speed runs and the hardcore challenge more. They have to do stuff like this if they ever hope to redeem their reputation and earn the trust of players back. But anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the video there. My name is Amanda Goblin, to my next video, ciao.